driving's an issue when you first get back. I mean, uh, any little piece of garbage over in Iraq for a period of time could explode and blow up and kill you or your friends. And, you know, guys who have, who have seen or heard or been in the vicinity of something like that happening, you know, when you see garbage on the side of the roadway here, it doesn't change anything. And, um, you, you know, I mean, I could go through a whole litany of stories. I won't, obviously, but, uh, you know, as far as just the little idiosyncrasies about life over there and how they translate to over here, it, it doesn't allow you to really act like a normal person. <laughs> and so um, I also guess I didn't want to be seen as, uh, you know, being so much different than the person I was before I left that people didn't want to spend time, you know, around me. So I, I thought some time away would allow me to uh, mend that. And um, it doesn't really. <laughs> I used to swerve under overpasses um, because there was, a, there was a tactic at the time when I was in Fallujah uh, where, you know, anybody from a young kid to, uh, you know, a teenager or young adult were throwing explosives or other objects off of bridges. And I was a machine gunner um, when, I was, when I went over there the first time. And uh, so because I was hanging out in the turret, I was, you know, the number one target for, for that kind of thing. And so what we would do is swerve, you know, kind of back and forth and try to kind of avoid or, or you know, at least lead them to believe that we, you know, were trying to get out of the way of anything that was being thrown. But... Uh, so you get so used to it, it's like, you know, second nature. You know, you're just trying to, um, uh, I don't even know if, if I was realizing that I was doing it at the time. And it wasn't always the broadest, the, you know, the, the, the most dramatic change of lanes or, or what have you, but it's just these little ticks that you get used to uh, in that environment that don't go away just because you came home.